Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob and welcome back. Today we've got something very special going on and uh, you're going to really love what we're going to be doing today. What I've done, you can see we've got tons of money and we've bought the best of the best that's available for a series of tests. And yeah, without further ado, let me show you what I'm on about. And today we're going to answer quite a bit of questions that everyone has been asking and no one seems to really know what's happening in the game itself, you know. So let me let me explain what we're going to be doing today. I uh, hope you're going to like it, guys. <laughs> I myself, I'm doing it for my own research because I've been wanting to know what happens and I don't know. And yeah, I think it's best to do this kind, kind of testing. And then we will take it from there, guys. Let me show you what I'm on about. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to do a plow, cultivate and fertilize test. We're going to do two sets of tests with wheat only, just one crop, because we want, want to see the effects of what plowing, cultivating and fertilizing have on a crop. Okay, so to have a constant, so we're going to run with exactly the same uh, settings on each of these tests, so that so that we can um, actually have at the end a harvest in liter and we can see the difference so there's going to be six tests on this settings one stage fertilizing with no peri periodic plowing so that's our first test with wheat and then we're going to do all these tests we're going to not plow and not fertilize the first one cultivate and plant and then see what the harvest is so that will give us a base in both these tests on this second test it's going to be the three-stage fertilizing with periodic plowing. And then we're going to also start to have a baseline and see what it gives us. And then we're going to run through each of these. Plow, cultivate and plant. Plow, fertilize, not cultivate and plant. Plow, uh, fertilize, um, plow, not fertilize, cultivate and plant. Uh, is that now the same as test number two? Sorry, guys. I've got the same one in there as test number two. So that one should actually come out because uh, it's two and that one is exactly the same. All right, doesn't matter. I'll just take them out. Um, and then once we have all these tests done, we will have the, 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 um, the actual facts of what is the difference, you know, if you do this and if you don't do that or whatever. All right, so it will be very interesting to, to have a look and see what uh, is going to be the difference between all these different ways of planting and fertilizing and not fertilizing and that. So for um, for seeding we've got the, the Solitaire 12, it's a 12 meter seeder, the CRT90 with a 45 meter draper for the for the harvesting and then we've got the uh, all-rounder, it's a 14, I think it's a 14 meter, uh, that's a cultivator and then obviously a fertilizer and then a truck to, to put all our uh, um, crop in. And then obviously a plow. A very nice big plow. This thing uh, is called the PCLCLCT PPP or whatever. Something like that. <laughs> but it's a big plow. It's a 10 and a half meter plow. And that's what it does guys. It plows. <laughs> and yes. I've made a nice convoy here. And what we're going to do is... Uh, I hope everyone is going to be following they shoot. Let me just uh, bring the speed down a bit so that everyone can follow. I'm going to go down to say 25. That should be alright. Um, what we're going to do, um, I'm going to do field number 9. If you can see there. Uh, let me just go there. Field number 9. I've bought field number 9 for us. And that field we're going to cultivate and plant it so that so that we can have the exact result every time um, and we're going to see the difference in the difference in between plowing the difference in between fertilizing and uh, the difference in between cultivating whatever that does to each crop type or not crop type but to each uh, harvest um, apparently it should have a difference they say that by plowing you get 10% extra if you plow your field every time. So we're going to do today a test to see if that is really true or is it just a 
myth or is it a lie or is it really happening? So the numbers is what we are interested in. So at the end of the day, when we finish with this test, we will have the answers to all those questions, guys. Um, yeah, so, and then also they say by fertilizing, uh, three stages, every time you fertilize, you apparently get 30% more harvest. So, uh, is that true? I don't know, but we're going to see. <laughs> so, yeah, bear with me, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump cut a lot of the things that we do and also uh, time compress most of what we do. So that, so that the video isn't boring, guys. All right, so we're going to drive up there to uh, field number nine and then actually get started there. I wonder if I'm going the wrong way now. Actually got no idea. All right, guys, I'm going to jump cut there to when we're at the, at the field number nine. Great stuff, guys. So here we are. I've changed my mind about the fields. I'm not going to go for 9, I'm going to go for field 20, which is a very nice big field and a long field. About the same distance, but it's closer and um, I like it more than field 9. <laughs> okay guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly first uh, just fill our cedar. I've also bought two nice um, refill points here, one for liquid fertilizer and the other one for seed. So obviously we're going to fill this one with seed. Hopefully it works. Why is it not working? It's supposed to be working. Am I missing the trigger? Oh, you must unfold the, the machine. Let me just quickly uh, go into the spreader. Switch will follow me on this one. The spreader should... I don't know if, if you have to um, unfold the spreader as well to fill up. That would be crazy because this thing is big. It's like a 40 meter spreader. <laughs> it will be crazy to unfold this thing before you can fill up. But let's just have a look. Or if uh, it's possible that this might only be a tank. Uh, no, I can't think, man. You must be able to buy from this thing. It's a mod, um, a fertilizer tank and also a cedar tank. Let's see. There you go. So, it has to be unfolded. My word. Okay, we live and learn there, guys. That doesn't make sense to me. In real life, it doesn't matter. The thing's cap is there in the middle on the top. You can access that whether the machine is folded or not. <laughs> okay, I think for uh, all safety purposes, I will put this thing here on the side because we're only gonna we're only gonna uh, plant one row to keep a strict um, record of what we've done. So I'm gonna just park this here. And then we're going to go into our uh, poor cedar and do the same here. Unfold it and then fill it up. The cedar I still can understand uh, that you might want to have it. Um, I'm going to make it. Yes. You know that you might want to have it unfolded because maybe the things is in the way and then the cap can't open like that you know so yeah it just make, might make sense to me <laughs> all right guys let's just leave it there eh? now this thing takes i think six thousand liters about um of, of seed so what we're gonna do um i'm gonna plant now first just to get rid of the fertilizing um if you look at uh fruit growth soil composition Oh, this is actually not fertilized. I wonder, wonder if it's planted. Let me just see. Growth, it is planted, man. So we're going to first have to harvest uh, two or three rows so we can have some space to work in once this is grown. So that is what I'm going to do in the meantime. And then 
I will compress the time so that you can see what I'm doing. All right, so it will it will save you time and it will also uh, make it more interesting. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do? So I'm going to let this field grow, finish growing, and then we're going to harvest uh, about three rows just to get rid of the crop. Okay, excellent. Now let's just close the cover and then there we go. All right, so I'll see you after that has been done. Okay guys, so what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, make edge, uh, a few edge paths um, for every uh, machine that we have going to do the work. The most important one is actually the, the cedar, obviously, because we want to have exactly the same path. And also, yeah, the rest doesn't matter. It's actually the cedar and maybe the the uh, sprayer that too I would say needs to have a, um, uh, a path you know with horse play so that it drives exactly on the same spot do exactly the same things every time so that we don't get um, different things you know different results okay so we're going to start in the southwest corner and driving north of course the rest is all right generate it save it call it field 20 and then we're going to call it uh, harvest so for now I don't care I've just put on the worker to get rid of this crop um, oh my word and there it's already doing the wrong thing and it's supposed to be uh, a straw swat and I forgot to switch that on now that we've got this grass here in the middle of the field, which is not good. But it's alright, it will cultivate in. Maybe we should just get rid of it, because otherwise we won't have a constant. Alright, so while this thing is harvesting, um, I want to quickly have a look now at the, at the, the soil composition. This thing doesn't show soil complete. It does. It does. There. That is fertilized. All right. Wonderful. So it's not fertilized. I love it. All right. Okay. So that means we can carry on, guys. But what I want to do now is purchase a loading wagon quickly. Uh, loading wagon, loading wagon, uh, loading wagons, loading wagons. Why am I not seeing the loading wagon? Loading wagon. Come on, come on. There you go. Uh, so my, so my buy this. That's a three wheel. Let's buy this one. Oh, and also we can get the tractor for that. Just to run it up and down the field quickly. Just to buy a nice watch. This is 105 kilowatt. Suppose that can drag that thing there, guys. One forty-seven. It's going to be a little bit light in the pants. Little bit, little bit, little bit light in the pants. Uh, but mind you, does that come with a bigger engine? Nope, doesn't. All right. Ah. Oh. Normally, just go for the messy. Very nice tractor. Engine. Get the biggest we can get, 206. Front loader, wheel setup, you see. White tires, I always like white tires. Okay, okay. Back, back, back. And let's just step to the messy. There you go. I'm 
I like that the colors somewhat match as well, you know, which is very nice, guys. Didn't plan it that way, but it worked out that way. <laughs> it's wonderful. I just uh, switched off the vehicles for our comfort. Don't want to be harassed or bothered by anything on this test of ours. So yeah, the road is ours to play with. And everything is working in our favor. Great, man. So, guys, yeah, this is going to be exciting, man, to, to actually finally have an answer to all of these questions, you know. What works and what doesn't work and what is true and what's not. I really hope you enjoy this with me, guys. It's really nice to make these videos and, and uh, actually do something worthwhile, you know, with time. <laughs> Don't want to just waste time, you know. <laughs> and the main thing is having fun. I mean, that's why we play the game, guys. To enjoy the game, man. It's just a wonderful game. Good. Okie dokie. We're almost there. Almost there. And then we can quickly uh, slow the two rows. I'll time compress this bit, guys. And then it won't bore you to death. Okay guys, I think that was more than, more than enough clearing done. So now what we can do is just empty our harvester of course. We want to start fresh with everything. Uh, actually what I can do is the following. Just to uh, give us some place to load everything. Just buy this little boy here. Go put it in here for us. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Let's go a little bit back. So that pipe is not in the way of our equipment when we go by. Excellent, man. And then let's just manually offload while we are here so we don't have to do it into the truck and then back into this and then back into that. There you go, that's good enough for me. This way we didn't even, don't actually really need the truck. <laughs> we can just empty it in here, guys. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I suppose I suppose the truck would have been the same thing, you know, but just, I mean, the truck is going to get full, but this thing won't get full. <laughs> won't easily get full. So yeah, we don't need the truck. All right. I'll let this finish. Right, let's just put this away. Suppose this guy can go stand that side. We're not going to be using it for a few minutes. Um, all right, so we did we did uh, check that the we did check the. Um, the field is not fertilized at all, which is what we want. We want to start with no fertilizing, just planting and then a straight harvest. So, obviously you can't plant directly onto a uh, field that is uh, not cultivated. So you need to uh, cultivate the field and then plant, which does make sense. Unless you use a direct drill, you know, that a seed drill that actually plants without cultivating. But we don't want to go that route. We want to just go the old way and have a standard test. Everything 
to be exactly right, you know, and exactly the same every time. Just want to get this a little bit as well, you know. There shouldn't be any doubt, guys, that even one litre makes a difference or any doubt that we've done something not right or missed something. So, yeah, that's the idea. Right, so we can park park out here with this. Okay, next up, this will be our first um, our first try, our first test to do. I'm gonna before we start with anything, I'm gonna just check that um, we have everything installed and ready so the first thing to check is plant growth is normal that's good withering is off off and fertilizing only one stage all right and then on our um, on our uh, what do you call it spreadsheet let me just get to our spreadsheet uh, mods, 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 mods. I think I've chucked it in here. And the farming simulator. Uh, what what I do with it? In here. Forgot it now. There we go. All right. So it's in here, guys. So our first test is to just cultivate and plant. No plowing. So you agree with me? It's been harvested. Why did I? close it all right so here we go so the first you agree with me the field is clean it's not fertilized that we can see clearly field 20 nothing is fertilized so we first just gonna do a one row of uh, one row of cultivating so that will be field work go in here field 20 and it's a 12 meter and we're gonna go obviously southwest going north generate the course for us save it 20 culti 12 meter all right okay so what I want to do is just do a better lineup yes yeah, so that we can reach so the driver can reach uh, waypoint one or start point rather without having to turn too much all right so here we go you will see that uh, what has changed first waypoint drive the course what if I forgot G Have I forgotten something, guys? Why can I not switch to the to the tractor? Drive the course, first waypoint. It's as if this thing is. Oh man, sorry. It must be on. No, it's, that's not fit. It is field work. It must be on field work. Twenty cultivate. I'm just going to quickly figure this out guys and then I'll be back. Hey okay, guys, so we've just finished plowing. So our next step up uh, is just to have a look at our chart to see what we want to do. Um, so our... Okay guys, after having some trouble with my setup, um, I had to redo uh, a little bit of the work. Um, so yes, the first thing we're going to do is just have a look at our field. You will totally agree with me that our first row is not fertilized. There's no fertilization there. Um, so we're going to do our first test by planting there. And let's just have a look at our first test. Our first test is not going to be plowed, not going to be fertilized. So we're only going to cultivate and plant and then get the... Uh, harvest result so let's do that guys without waiting any more <laughs> all right into our cedar oh sorry 
we can't, we first have to, that we say cultivate now. Am I losing my mind? Yes, we're going to cultivate because you can't plant without cultivating. <laughs> All right, so first, first cultivate. First cultivate is uh, this boy. Yeah, excellent. Oh, don't fold it up because otherwise, cosplay will get jealous and refold it up. <laughs> it's just how it goes. All right, excellent, guys. I hope my troubles are all over now. Been been having a, a little problem with um, with my recording software. I'm using the normal uh, recording setup from um, Nvidia, and yeah, it's just been crashing on me. Actually, not Nvidia. It wasn't crashing. It's the game somehow freezes, but it's got to do with my graphics card wires. Anyways, I've updated all of that now to the latest, which was luckily just released the other day. So hopefully all is well. All right, guys. Cultivate Field 20. Uh, let us do it. Let us do it. We want to start at the first waypoint. And there we go. Nice, bright and early day. Right. I'm going to start stop talking now so that we can do a time lapse on this uh, cultivating. I'll try not to talk during... The field work so that we can do time lapses. All right, guys, let's let, let it roll. Very nice, guys. What I'm going to do, I'm going to let this roll. Um, this is the Challenger 975E. I've done a full review on this tractor. If you look during uh, or look through my uh, videos or my playlists under reviews uh, um, on my channel you might find that there well that is coming back let us start the seeding so I've got to I think the seeder is a little bit uh, uh, narrower than the cultivator so we won't shouldn't have a problem on the field you know with two vehicles running have we got sowing? Yes, we've got sowing. Now we're just going to have to fold this up because, like I said, cosplay loves to f to start with folded things. <laughs> Gets jealous if it's not folded. <laughs> All right, right. So first waypoint, we've got uh, we've got this loaded. Uh, the, the wheat seeding is on. Right, everything looks alright. Just want to make sure uh, before we go there, are we still set up normal off off one? So first stage and periodic plowing is off. All right, so there you go, guys. Let's try. This is our first stage. I'm going to let that cultivator come back the second row, and then we'll only seed the one row, guys. The way, I, the reason I'm using this course uh, for course play is that we can seed exactly the same amount every time we do a test so that we have exactly the same uh, um, environment and nothing so that nothing changes you know in our setup oh my word yeah I know it should be all right that field marker I hope it's not gonna crash oh my gosh I didn't think of that <laughs> it luckily went through okay so here we go Back to our cultivator, ready to stop. I've just done the second row, just for it to look nice, you know. <laughs> we didn't really need to do that. There you go. Alright, let's put it away. Oh, I'm just cleared that little pole out of the way it was annoying me <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> I'm just joking uh, nothing wrong with fooling around there guys okay so here we go at the end of this stretch that's our first test guys into the ground very nice stop the driver uh, fold up here clear up there let us go back to this Back to the um, oh, and drive over our nicely planted field. It might have an effect on our results, <laughs> which we don't want. 
We clearly don't want that. Right, guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, forward the day. It's nice, bright and early. It, it takes normally two or three days for the crop to grow at normal speed. So we're going to do a time lapse. And, well, not a time lapse. I'm just going to forward the day in uh, 12 hour sections just for the for the field map to actually uh, catch up, you know. So you'll see now what I mean. To refresh the field map. All right, so here we are, 6:48. That's a good time for our start. So we're gonna do a 12-hour lapse to 7 o'clock. Right. 19:05. That's close enough. Here it comes. It's updated. Now another 12 to 7 again. Right, there we go. Just wait for it to update. There we go. Another 12 hours. Right. It's noon again. There we go. And then I think the last one should be all right. Right. How's that? It should be fully grown now if everything went right. It's coming. Nice. All right. Ready to harvest, guys. Without further ado, let's jump into our um, our cultivator. and oh, Not cultivator. Our um, uh, um, harvester, man. What am I struggling for words? <laughs> Farmer Bob. Oh, my gosh. Right, guys, as you can see, we're only going to harvest the one row every time to have a controlled test. So, here we go. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so this thing with course play is it doesn't always stop on that first bit, so we're going to just help it out a little bit. Reverse and then start it there, and it should be all right. See what I mean? It goes into the field and then it starts there a little bit deeper into the field, which is not nice. We don't like that. For some reason, the first waypoint is actually into the field. I don't know why. But anyways, it doesn't matter. All right, I'll shut up now and then we can do a time lapse. Okay, guys, so that was an interesting run, if you'd agree with me, that was a very interesting run. So our first crop, 3747, it's a Boeing 747, guys. <laughs> this is without uh, fertilizer, it's just a base crop, no fertilizer, this, was, this is what happens when you just plant and don't fertilize, and this is what you get. 3747. Alright, so let us, while it's offloading, quickly update our little list here. Our first test, that's our base test. 3747. And that will be our start point. Great. Okay, and then we can close the pipe. I'm sure you'll agree with me that was interesting. Now we have a point to work from, and we can exactly see what's potting. Right, just switch off the lights, the engine, and here we go. Alright guys, so our next thing to do will be our next test. Our next test is going to be involving uh, plowing, cultivate, and plant. So it's exactly the same test, except for we're just going to plow uh, plow first. Now the reason we're doing that is because they say that when you plow you get an extra 10% of crop which are we gonna we're gonna definitely put that to the test now 
to see if we're going to get an extra 10% of crop, <laughs> which I hope we do. But anyways, um, yes, um, the other thing is I've changed the plow because that other plow, yeah, that thing was just too long and it caused a bit of a hiccup with the, with the plowing in the back. It just doesn't plow, it doesn't start nicely. You know, it doesn't matter, it didn't work so nice. <laughs> I didn't like it. Oh, uh, plowing, let's just get the plowing loaded. And then obviously we're going to go start the first waypoint. Great guys, let us test this theory. So we're first going to, oh, we, we just want to look at the field state before we carry on. Um, again, you can verify no fertilizing in our first row that we're going to do. So that is it guys, That we, that is what we want to see. Let's go back there, drive the course, let it rip. You see it leaves that little triangle, but we'll come back to fix that once it's done the whole row. And what's nice now as well guys is we can, we have an edge that we can see. We're going to plant exactly the same amount of field uh, so that we can uh, have a controlled test, you know. So that's going to make it easy to verify our numbers. Okay, good stuff. Alright, I'll be quiet now again so that we can time lapse. Just to throw this in as well guys, um, the class Zirion 5000, I've done a full review on this amazing tractor. It's really a beautiful tractor and you can see that also on my on my site, uh, my channel, and have a look there. I did a nice review on this as well. Basically, most of the equipment you be using here today, I've reviewed. So just browse through there and have fun, guys. <laughs> They're normally quite quite nice to look at. I don't know. Give me your comments, guys. <laughs> Whatever you think. All right, excellent. I think what we might do guys is um, it's going to I wonder if it's gonna let's just stop the driver here quickly um, yeah it's gonna be more than enough because it's way over the line there so what I'm gonna do is just repair that little tip there so we want to get exactly the right the right uh, uh, amount and space I know I should have turned the plow, but no, it's not really. If we could train smash, I just want to do this tips here. Just like that, guys. So that way we know the whole field is 100% plowed. And what's nice now is I can uh, just set this up to carry on where we left off. How's that? <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'm not happy with it. Uh, with that last bit here. I think we could swing the plow around to the other side. It should actually be plowing. So we can get more uh, Of course, nearest waypoint. Let's just have a look. Now oh, that's better. I just want to go over the line a little bit, you know, so that yeah, so that there's no doubt of our plowing or anything. This should definitely clear the whole field. So we're in the center and that first 
that first shovel is like definitely over the center so yeah very nice look at that guys perfect perfect job you know one thing about plowing guys which very little people realize is you are actually taking ground you're moving ground around on your field that's why it's important to actually uh, one year plow this way and the other year plow that way because if you can see that little plows um, that little uh, shovel it throws the ground this way so every one of these you're moving that piece of soil the width of uh, that little shovel to the to the right in this case so it's very important um, at the end of the year or keep track of what you're plowing which way you know so yeah it's important to just think of that as well um, because if you especially if you have um, if you if you plow every year then if you don't keep track of that you'll be moving your soil off your land <laughs> you know to the one way and it becomes your land becomes thicker eventually at the one end you know so it's very important to keep track of that okay guys I just want to switch off here and then just quickly save my work okay excellent it seems like my things is working perfectly again all right guys so you agree with me that we have just uh, plowed we still haven't fertilized very very good and then well, our next step obviously in our test is to cultivate and then plant so let's get stuck in that right so without further ado let's go to our cultivator let's just give uh, a nice lead up there to the field okay so Colty Field 20, we are ready to roll. Just go for it, guys. Stop the driver, guys. I don't know if you've seen what I see. We forgot to clear that little piece there. Um, I know it's a drag, guys, but I want to be precise, you know. I don't want to miss anything. You're probably laughing. Farmer Bob, are you crazy? That little bit is not going to make a difference. The problem is not the difference that's going to make it is, you know, the guys that's going to say, oh, but you forgot that little piece or whatever, whatever, you know. So, yeah, before we get any of that, let us just do it right. And let's plow that little piece into the ground. And there won't be any stories, guys. Luckily, we don't have a great field on, so so that we um, don't have this problem of plowing our plowing outside of our fields right excellent so in this case here we are now we are ready guys let's do it ah oh, forgot he's now gonna unfold or fold up and then unfold <laughs> oh big story okay so we'll time lapse this as well guys what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let it run for uh, uh, probably about half to three quarters of the field and then I'll put the cedar in behind him so it will just save a bit of time but we'll time lapse that anyways so here we go guys Farmer Bob is not scared, he just jumps over the thing, you know. Right, so let's get our cedar so long. Set up and ready to roll. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what are we proving now guys? We are going to do the same test to see if there's a difference in plowing your field. What what difference does plowing your field make? Right, so field to sowing. First waypoint, drive the course, go for it. Nice. Once again, that's why I like to use course play, because there's no deviation off the route. 
it will do a straight job here exactly on the same spot it did previous time so in liter we should we should be exactly the same amount of seed into the ground our day conditions is the same very close to the same in any way uh, so yeah we should should be all right okay this guy is finished cultivating for us look at him struggling to keep this thing straight <laughs> that's so funny oh my gosh did i not change the speeds on this thing luckily i didn't because i think if it was any faster it would have definitely not controlled that um, cultivator look at this <laughs> um, i mustn't laugh because i'll probably do the same thing i'm getting drunk with all this moving about I think we can we can safely uh, leave this. I heard it will go down. What's what's the difference, guys? No difference at all. Farmer Bob just jumps over the things, guys. Let's jump in here. Okay, so you can all agree with me. Same conditions, with the exception that we've now ploughed. No fertilizer. Right, so here we go. Our second test, guys. Our second test is on its way. I don't know about you, but this is exciting stuff to me, you know. I don't lie awake at night in bed wondering about these things, but um, when I do the job and when I work or do things like this, I like to know that uh, what is happening when I do what, you know. So it's always nice to to actually have a thing proven and tested makes a huge difference right let's just save this guy from his misery and uh, help him out here right you can now stop for us stop the driver fold up this little cultivator put it away ready for the next job I even did a nice review on that um, K-Squad tractor. Very, very nice tractor as well, guys. All right. So now it's 10 to 8. Took us an hour to do this little piece. But we are ready now to, to do our second test. Uh, just want to verify. No fertilizer. So you can agree with me. We've done the one with no fertilizer. Okay. Excellent. All right, let's forward to the next day, guys. Once again, we're waiting for the field to update. There you go. Twelve-hour shifts. A lot of demand on this map, eh, guys? <laughs> yeah, it's coming. Hello. Quarter past seven, guys. Let's see if we've got the same conditions. It's a bit cloudy today. Luckily not raining. So, yes, and there you are. Now, the proof is in the pudding, guys. Oh, the harvester is this side. Once again, into our harvester. Let's get cracking. And let's just help horse play out a little bit here in the beginning, just to get started. Let's do this first little bit for him. First waypoint, uh, get going, good. There you go. Right. This is going to be exciting, guys. This is going to be really exciting. We had the bowing on the first harvest. And the difference now is we've ploughed. 
so we had three seven four seven the Boeing I mean <laughs> seven four seven three seven four seven three thousand seven hundred forty seven liters um, on our first uh, test so yeah it's going to be exciting and to tell you the truth we should uh, have about 370 liters more if 10 percent was added for the plowing so we should get to 4,000 4, liters just over 4,000 liters so let's see where we end up we are over, over halfway and not yeah, it looks like it might 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 make it guys i don't know we'll see just now No, we're not going to make it, guys. We're not going to make it. Just look at this. 2,600, 2,700. Oh, my gosh. Nope. Not going to make it. Conditions were exactly the same. Totally, totally, totally the same. We haven't changed anything. Uh, we haven't done anything different. It didn't rain only exception is we've plowed this time around <laughs> I don't know about you but uh, I don't I don't think you need any more evidence than that there's no 10% increase guys in plowing so if you are the poor guy that has faithfully been plowing to get your 10 percent you have just wasted all your time because there's no 10 percent at least on this first test set of tests i think what needs to happen uh oh, oh, oh. 3747 so it's exactly the same so it doesn't matter so we can empty the truck now um let's just update our chart exactly the same 3747 just enter there save our chart um so we exactly exactly the same on this chart which is quite amazing guys remember to to uh empty the truck so what i was saying guys uh i think uh, i'm not sure i think you need to have the period periodic plowing enabled for you to gain that 10 percent if that is disabled um what am i doing now i'm pressing the wrong button sorry guys i wanted to shut down and get out go to the truck and then empty it yeah so we've just proven now that there is no 10 percent if you use the the single stage fertilization and periodic plowing it will actually be interesting uh, to enable, but we're going to enable periodic plowing in the next test, set of tests. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what the result is there. So we don't need to bother with that now. But it's just interesting. So if you were using the the, the setting without periodic plowing, if and you've been plowing, you've just wasted all that years and years and years of work <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> all right okay guys let us get um, a look at our next test so this time we're going to plow we're going to fertilize we're not going to cultivate and then we're going to plant so just plow and fertilize all right without further ado uh, i want to just save my work once again okay good man let us first start by plowing uh, obviously I have to start the vehicle uh, just to share with you guys why I've set the tests up like that um, I don't know if I've shared that in the first video that I've made maybe I have I don't know but um, the reason being for um, for plowing then fertilizing and then cultivating is if you plow you are creating deep uh, you, you're stirring the soil at least three four hundred millimeters deep maybe even more depending on what type of plow you're using 
But say, th say you're stirring the soil or turning the soil, it's not stirring, turning the soil around. You're taking your bottom soil and put it to the top and your top soil goes to the bottom. Um, which, which means that if you fertilize after you've plowed and then you cultivate, what happens is you cultivate that fertilizer into the ground. Whether you use liquid fertilizer or solid fertilizer, it doesn't make a difference. It goes, you are you're actually cultivating it into the ground, which is good. Because if you don't, if you if you plant your plant your crop and then fertilize after you've planted, your fertilizer is going to lie on top of the ground, and the sun is going to destroy it, and um, it's not going to give you all the effect that you've paid for. You know? Fertilizer is a very expensive thing. Um, so yeah, that's why I always say fertilize before you cultivate that just makes a difference in real life i don't know if it really makes a difference in the game but in real life that's the way you do it you don't fertilize um after you've planted except for if you your plants has grown then you can fertilize because your fertilizer will lie in the shade of the plants you know uh, i'm talking about the second or third stage fertilizer that definitely works after your plants has grown a bit you know uh, it does uh, um, help from shading from the sun because the sun x-rays and gamma rays and uv rays they destroy everything everything it gets in contact with so yes that's why it's best to cultivate uh, after you have fertilized that's just some thoughts guys <laughs> hope i don't talk too much <laughs> okay good stuff man and uh, yeah guys if there's any comments you want to leave please drop it down man i'm not uh i'm not the uh, um, the sharpest tool in the shed or i don't know everything about farming or whatever but a little bit i know i'll gladly share you know and things that i've learned and things that i know i, I do definitely tend to share i'm not the kind of guy that keeps secrets or whatever i'm open for knowledge to share what we know you know that's what, how it works knowledge is its power and, and knowledge is a good thing uh, wisdom and knowledge is very awesome stuff you know <laughs> so we love to share that man oh good stuff right i'm gonna be quiet now so we can time lapse this Alright guys, as in the previous round, I'm just going to touch up this little tip here on the side. It's just for consistency man, it just makes a huge difference guys. You have consistency in your work and everything you do. I'm going to flip this plow again as well. So I think we might start there. Uh, we're going to just change this to nearest waypoint. Beautiful, man. Perfect. So we want to plow uh, and then fertilize. So let us get into the... Oh, we can't do the fertilizer now because this thing is so big. So we have to wait for the plow to finish. Right, I just tip this one as well. Get it right to the edge. Oh, you missed the spot there. Farmer Bob, you are so finicky. Leave that little piece there, man. No, 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 no. Don't want there to be any doubt, guys. There mustn't be any doubt. If we've done something wrong, we missed something. Slipped up somewhere. Don't like that. Right. I can't say I'm not thorough, guys. <laughs> Am I not thorough enough? <laughs> oh my gosh. Luckily, you guys get to watch the compressed version of this. I have to sit through James doing this whole field, you know, wait for James to finish his work. Alright, anyways, into the sprayer. 
And guys, is this a lovely sprayer? It's the 4730 John Deere, 42 meters it sprays. And don't uh, get me wrong, I've done a full review on this. Have a look at that also. Beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment. Oh, I mustn't do that. Uh, we're going to go here. Uh, fertilize. Check how wide this, this, this thing is like wide, guys. Alright, so we want to just line up here for course play and then go yeah, go first waypoint, drive the course. Luckily we've got full tank of fertilizer. I've made sure I've filled it up. I don't know if I've set to buy or to use the tank, so I will see now. I think I've set it to actually use the fertilizer in the tank. But you have the option to buy as you use, which is also alright, not a problem with that. It's more realistic to use what's in the tank, you know. <laughs> no one's gotten an, an uh, what do you call it, a endless supply of fertilizer while driving. You know? so it's more realistic to use what's in the tank. Yeah, there it's going down. Okay. Farmer Bob, if you spray off the field, you could have used a much smaller machine because we're only, only to this side. <laughs> But boy oh boy, you wouldn't have seen this awesome sprayer in action if I haven't if I've chosen the normal 24 meter or 12 meter little solid sprayer or, or, or fertilizing spreader rather. And Susie is doing a good job here for us, so yeah, let's just let that finish. And then uh, we can carry on to the seeding part. We can actually start the seeding now guys, but we're so close to the finish now. Um, Let's just wait for that to finish and then stop it. Man oh man guys, this is going to be interesting. Just that little bit of spraying. Remember we're only doing one lane. Or one, yeah, one lane of, uh, of our width of our cedar. So that's it. All, the whole side has been done. Let's close up. Fix up. Yeah, this is a lovely machine, this guys. Very, 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 very nice machine. Alright, so we've plowed. Now we're going to just directly seed on top of this. Find out what the result is. Okay guys, here we go again. Our third test. Yeah, it's our third one. Now we've plowed, we've fertilized and we're now planting. Right, just wait for it to unfold. Nice job. It's amazing how that previous two tests got in liters the exact same amount. This just shows you how perfectly uh, our setup is uh, for having a baseline and having the exactly the same conditions. I mean that's so awesome guys. Okay guys, so here we've got our next row planted for our next test. Now all we need to do is save our work and then yeah, get ready for the next day of harvesting. Looks like tomorrow on top it's going to be a nice sunny day again. So yeah, we're just grateful that our conditions are still favorable and exactly the same. You know, that we don't have natural conditions maybe could bring some doubt in, you know. But I think every doubt has been thrown out the window with the results of our first two tests being perfectly the same, you know. So yeah. Excellent. Okay, let's just save our work here. Okay guys, so here we are. I hope you're comfortable. I'm uh, very comfortable. I've just made myself something to drink. So yes, I'm very happy. Nice cup of hot Milo. Very nice. Hmm. Good stuff. Okay guys, um, we want to now forward to the next day. 
So here we go, 12 hour shifts, guys. Before we do the next one, I just want to make sure still that this time our first lane is fertilized. You can see right to the top. Everything is in place and uh, we are fertilized. That little stroke stripe you see there on the map is the grass on the side which obviously has not been fertilized um, it's that little white stripe there between between the grass and the, the field all right so let us not worry about that let's continue Hold on. just want to do the next shift to seven in the morning that was a good stop eh <laughs> Actually, our field also updated quite quickly. All right. Okay, let's do the next one. There you go. And the next one. Come, come, come. Where are you? It's coming. Nice. All right. Ooh, it shows it's going to rain, so we have to quickly, 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 quickly take this um, off the field before it rains. But luckily, it will. Uh, the problem is we can't uh, harvest when it's raining. Did we empty the truck, guys? I can't remember. So we're going to quickly jump to the. Tr yeah, we did empty the truck. I just remembered now. But not to worry, we will jump to the truck just to make sure. This little tree here on the left is really in a, bit, in a bad spot, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, I keep on forgetting. I must just do that first a little bit for cosplay. Alright, the proof is in the pudding, guys. Like I always say. Right, let's jump to the truck so long and see that that's empty. Yep, it is. Here we go. We've just jumped off the line and we're already almost a thousand meters, so there's a huge difference in, um, in uh, um, volume of the harvest. So we'll see now where we end up. That's going to be very interesting. Look at that, we're not even halfway and we're already 2,000 meters. Look at that guys, we are halfway. And we are three five. We already we are already at what we our previous harvest was. So all of this is extra just because of fertilizer. Wow, that's a huge difference, guys. Here you can see proof of what fertilizing does. Very interesting. Very 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 interesting. Don't know about you guys, but that is a huge difference, guys. 6813. 6813. Isn't that amazing? Right. Uh, let's switch off. Six eight one three. That is a lot. A huge difference, guys. Okay, let's just put that away. So clearly we can see uh, fertilizing does do uh, what it's promised to do. It increases your crop. How much we will find out in a bit. First, we want to just empty our truck. There it is, 6813. Let's update our file before we forget. Right, we save it there and then back to our game and then let's just empty it. So now you can understand uh, that it really helps to spend a bit of bucks and fertilize your field before you plant. You know, so that does 
have a huge influence. All right, let's just spend a minute or two to absorb that difference. Let's go back to our little thing here. Uh, so I've put in a little equation here uh, for us to, to work out the percentage. What you do is you take the difference between the two and divide the answer by the original amount, which gives you um, the percentage, and time it by 100 to give you that there. So that's basically what this does. So what we need to do is we need to take this one. Uh, let's just go there. That one minus that one, and then just have it there. It is 3066 minus G8. So I just want to make sure that this formula is now right. Here we go, the formula H9 divided by G8. H9, which is uh, H... H9 divided by G8, G8 divided by that one, yes, times by 100, so it's 80%, guys, 80% more that we received for that fertilizer in one stage. My best guess would be uh, that it is the total result of a three-stage fertilizer. Roughly a total result of that that you get in that if you play the game in that one stage. Because uh, I don't see we getting 80% on the next test on every fertilizer state, you know. So yeah, we will definitely uh, check that out. All right. Now, without worrying too much further, let us now see uh, our next test will be, I think, a full house. Plow, uh, fertilize, cultivate, and plant. So let us do that. Great, man. So plow first. Here we go. Our class is up, up, for, up for the job. Oh my Bob, are you crazy putting such a big tractor in front of such a small plow? It's an overkill, it's an almost 400 kilowatt tractor and we're just putting it on this tiny little plow. <laughs> Isn't that crazy guys? No, you see, if I put a small tractor on this, then you wouldn't have seen this nice class in action, you know? So yeah, that's the reason guys. Let's just get going this one off to work. I'll be quiet now so we can time compress this boring bit. You can just verify while I'm time compressing that everything is happening according to plan. Okay guys, we just did the tip of the, the field there again and then almost took out the water fountain. <laughs> that was quite funny. Um, Farmer Bob doesn't always look where he's driving, so yeah, stuff happens. Oh, look at Joe up here guys. Joe is totally relaxed. Looks like he's having some peanuts there on the side. <laughs> no, he's focused on his plowing guys, that's what he's doing. <laughs> Well, I think you'll agree that that was a great job. Job well done, Joe. We, we'll just um, dismiss you there from from the rest of the work. Uh, let's just get this last piece done here. Yeah. Okay. Just in case we've missed something. Right, guys, and another one is done, so let's just go back in. These lampposts are always in the way. 
Never a dull day, guys. Never a dull day. Yeah, on former Bob's farm. Right, our next up is uh, is obviously spraying the fertilizer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set the offset. Mind you, I'm not going to set anything because we want consistency. I'm not going to change anything because everything is alright. We know that for a fact. We just want consistency. That's all we want, guys. Uh, spraying, everything should be alright still. Uh, let's just let it try do the job. we still got lots and lots of fertilizer in there. And yes, so yeah, everything looks good. You can actually lower, um, lower the, uh, adjust the height of the spray. Reason that being is, um, if your crop, obviously for your crop height, to do that, and also uh, if you've got it too low. You might be spraying stripes on the ground, you know, so you don't want to do that. You want it to to actually spray from above. But also when it's windy, uh, wind isn't really a problem in farming simulator, but I mean if you in real life when it's windy, you want to spray lower than um, otherwise the wind just blows away all your all your liquid fertilizer, which is very bad. <laughs> you know? Bad for business because fertilizer is expensive guys and you don't want to waste it. So yeah, that's why you can adjust the height on these things. Also very interesting stuff. Alright guys, so now we've done fertilizer. Almost ready for the next harvest. We just need to now cultivate. Culti, culti, cultivate. Let's put this nice sprayer in its little compartment here where it's sleeping. Four wheel steering the whole toot. Right, let's get back to um, this boy. No, that's the cedar. Here we go. Just after the fertilizer, we'll be doing the seeding. See, guys, it's very nice using course play for this type of thing where you constantly have to do the same job over and over you know and do a precise job over and over right here we go try it nice job man nice job guys now we're just going to cultivate the whole field i think we might as well just jump in with the cedar as well while we're ahead Okay, this is looking good. Let's get back to the cultivator. Just in time to stop this boy. Look at this driver. Faithful in putting that ridge marker there. For those who don't know, the ridge marker is actually drawing a center line for your tractor. So if you would make a ridge marker on the right obviously that's where you're going to go next and then what you will do is you just make a u-turn obviously as usual not backwards forwards obviously and then just follow your ridge marker from cab view it will be looking like this you put down your equipment and there you go that's what your ridge marker is for now you just follow your marker and then you go plowing in a straight line or cultivating or whatever you were doing in a straight line and you just keep it in the center in the center mrs fenter and everything is okay good guys so that is it man that is what we're doing we are now almost finished with the next for the next test right guys just want to save our work and then, yeah, we can forward again, once again. Right, everything is saved. So now, uh, we can just have a quick check. We have fertilizer now. As you can see on the map, first lane is fertilized. There it is. 
and uh, we have got plants in that you've just witnessed and what we need to do now is just forward the time uh, 12 hour shifts so to 1900 hours wait for it to update there it's coming come 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 Demand for canola. Is it updated yet? No, nope, there it's coming. And there you are, guys. We are ready. Ready for another harvest. The harvester is empty. So there we go. Let's do that first bit for play as usual now this is going to be really interesting guys to be honest with you I don't know what to expect but it's going to be interesting anyways see what we get out of this Well, guys, I uh, don't know if you agree, but uh, the next, the previous one was 618, uh, 6813, and uh, this one is 6813. <laughs> that is fairly amazing, isn't it? So, between plowing and uh, cultivating, there's not really any difference. Uh, when you use this first setup, uh, one stage fertilizing and no period, periodic plowing. Great, so yeah, that is totally interesting, guys. 6813. While this is offloading, let's just update our database. 6813. So there you can see there's no difference at all. Now, if we've done we've done this th three, we haven't we haven't done this three yet. So we'll do that as a last test. No plowing, and then just fertilize, cultivate, and plant for our last test on this first uh, session. Great. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get that cracking there. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, guys. Um, while I was forwarding the time, it actually started to rain. So it did rain for a few hours, which also shows us that the rain has no effect on um, on the game. You know, there's no effect with the rain. So nature, well, in the normal gameplay, like it didn't do any made made any difference to the crop um, because of the rain. You know, so yeah, it's interesting just to. To highlight that as well, you know, as a little extra bonus, we somehow just uh, also added that into the equation and ruled that out. You know, does rain do any effect on your crop in the game? No, it has no effect on your crop, so, which is actually pretty sad, you know, because in real life, rain is a see everything is dependent on rain, you know. So yeah, just but I mean, it's a game. Alright, so our last one, just fertilize, uh, cultivate and plow. So we need to fertilize first. I love this machine, guys. I really do. Just want to make sure it is now. Yeah, fertilize, cultivate and plant. Right, let's do it. First waypoint. So this will be our last test, just to get an idea what what is the difference when you plow when I mean you don't plow when I mean you fertilize and you don't fertilize Ach, uh, cultivate not fertilize sorry guys yeah and also obviously fertilize we've done all the changes in in our tests you'll notice that they don't fertilize on the tracks just as uh, in real life you'll have actual tracks the width of your um, of your sprayer 
where you drive, where you actually don't plant. So yeah, it's no need to fertilize, waste fertilizer spraying it in the tracks, you know. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Okay, you can see our fertilizer is definitely going into the ground there where we have had a crop, you know. The other ground has now over and over been fertilized, my gosh. Right, let's just fold up and go back. Right. We could have actually set off the cultivator already if we didn't talk so much nonsense and <laughs> drive with this um, machine all the time. But uh, it's fun driving the machine or driving with it. <laughs> Rather. Okay, so let's not drive over our field just to make sure we don't have any reason for doubt. Okay, there you go. And now cultivate, here we go. Come with, it's your turn. Now we won't make the same mistake again guys. We will set off the cedar just after the cultivator, obviously. Just want to line this a little bit better. that's all right we'll just let the cultivator run ahead a bit and then we will follow I was laughing at that worker earlier on and struggled with that uh, challenger. <laughs> now I'm doing the same thing. There you go. Nice. Okay guys, so here we are, ready for our next crop. What we've done now, we just haven't plowed, we've just fertilized, as you can see, once again, um, we've got fertilizer in our crop, this is grass there, and then that little gap there, and then our field starts. So yeah, everything is consistent as we like it, and we're ready, so let's just save our work. Great man, so what we need to do now, once again, is just forward the day. I don't know if I have to wait a bit longer, because this one seemed, there we go. I was just going to say, it, it seemed like it rendered quite a bit. Anyway, let's just carry on. bit foggy this morning <laughs> there you go afternoon seem to have done uh, And there you go, guys, it's a cloudy day, so that now we don't worry about rain anymore because we've ruled, ruled out all the rain theories, so we don't worry about the rain if it does, but luckily it's not going to have the effect on our harvest.
Alright. Okay, guys, this is going to also be interesting. See the difference. If there is a difference. Well, guys, don't know about you, I'm not surprised and I'm not stunned. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Well, there you go, 6813 on the spot, man, on the spot. We can't say that our, our testing is um, not calibrated, eh, guys? To the liter, man, to the liter. That is how perfectly we are testing. We could actually get the a job in a lab bro. <laughs> we are so accurate <laughs> we could do lab work really <laughs> blood work and all kinds of things oh my word forensic testing because we are very very accurate guys anyways 6813 it is so there's absolutely no difference in uh, whether you plow or whether you fertilize Ach, uh, cultivate. I oh, just keep on mixing these two words up. Uh, whether you plow or whether you cultivate, it's exactly the same. We haven't plowed now. We got the same crop, and then on another test we haven't cultivated. And we got the same crop. So, so yeah, that is very, very interesting. I must say, very interesting. And yet, remember, we are in the first uh, test. Now the next one, I think it's going to be a totally different ball game when we enable that periodic plowing and we use the three-stage fertilizer. That, I think, it's where the ball is going to drop and where it's going to get interesting. I don't want to change anything on our setup at this stage because I'm very happy with how it's running. The only thing I want to do is uh, jump out into our spreadsheet here and just put in our results, 6813. Yo, I'm still amazed guys, it's to the letter, to the liter, exactly the same results doesn't matter what we've done here well guys this is the end of our first test be sure to watch the second part of the test to to get the full picture of the plowing and the fertilizing um, uh, differences and yeah thanks for joining and thanks for watching I really appreciate and uh, yeah leave a comment or give a like just as you feel and take care man until next time this is farmer Bob saying cheers <laughs>